Hey guys, welcome back to Artosis Casts. Uh, today we're going to be starting a three game ladder series between Snow, the best Protoss vs. Terran player in the world, and Speed. Uh, one of my favorite Terrans to watch, not so much to play against since I've hit him on the ladder like 30 times. Uh, but uh, definitely a very fun Terran player with a bit of a different style than most. Uh, hope that you guys have been enjoying uh, every now and then I am trying to pick out some of these series. I know that we just uh, finished one up there with Barracks vs. Larva. I thought that was a great series. Uh, maybe not quite as good as the original 17 game series of Sellout Rain. But anyways, this is a short one. These guys hit the, uh, each other three times in a row on the ladder. Uh, and I thought it might be good because, you know, Snow obviously is always kind of a pleasure to watch in Protoss vs. Terran. Because either he smashes you or it's really close. <laughs> There's really not another way around it. <laughs> That's about it, right? So uh, it's it's kind of art watching him PVT. And yeah, I just I want to see what, what speed is going to be up to in this series. He is practicing really hard currently. Uh, he is he's like laddering all the time, really trying to up that level. Definitely someone I'm hoping uh, starts making frequent ASL appearances soon. Anyways, we're on Neo Sylphid. As you can see, uh, our three-player map, or one of our three-player maps, probably the best three-player map ever. I think most people pretty much agree with that. Uh, you know, if you look at some of the newer three-player maps that have come out, like Apocalypse, for instance, I think Apoc Apocalypse is a pretty good map, but this one definitely better. So uh, I don't know if we're going to... Well, eventually we'll have a better three-player map than, than Neo Sylphid, but... This one's been on top literally for like five years uh, as the best three-player map out there. I can't really think of anything that comes too close to it, honestly. Just it keeps getting rotated back into the map pool, basically, because it's like, yeah, that gives us really good games. It feels it feels relatively balanced. You know, every every map, depending on meta, goes in one way or another balance-wise. You never really get 50% on anything. Uh, it's very, very rare. <laughs> and uh, But yeah, anyways, it's, it's solid. So... Let's take a look at what's going on here. This is a pretty quick scout from uh, Snow, and he's just trying to harass with his probe. And, you know, a little bit of missteps there. The SCVs do get some hits off on the probe. You don't want to lose this thing. It has uh, three more hits left from the SCV, so there's one. And he might just start turning around. You just you don't want to lose it. Yeah, see, he's down to one, and, well, it heals, so he'll get another one as well. Factory is on the way. We have that depot coming up as well. Uh, as a little sim city to run through against zealots but there's no zealot coming this is just going to be a quick dragoon and we don't have the range upgrade started yet now will he start the range upgrade i think so because he's mining with three probes on the gas uh you know there's there's a lot of different ways to take your your uh nexus so let's see now uh the scv has gotten oh my god the scv got the probe <laughs> justice uh and he will get in here and you can see that Snow has started an upgrade before the SCV saw. So he's trying to fake that it's going to be ranged. He's going to cancel that into the Nexus. And almost certainly he's going to throw Robo down. You know, he's been mining so much gas. The question was, is it actually going to be ranged or not? And since there is no range, I would really imagine Robo coming down. So anyways, the Dragoon going to go across. And, you know, as soon as you see that, you're like, okay, well, you know, we have range on the way. Uh... His SCV didn't get there till kind of late, so you don't actually know when it started. The earliest time that rain ever fin or range ever finishes is like four minutes and twenty five seconds or so. It's right right around there, so you gotta kind of be ready. You have to make sure you have a bunker by then because you just can't really touch uh, the the dragoons once they have range with those with those just standard early game Terran units like the Marines like siege tanks. Now, we have the Robo coming up as expected from Snow. He is just such a... Uh, oh, my God. This is a two-fact. I was going to say he's such a Reaver player. But this is very sneaky. So, that, first off, this is a very forward bunker. I wasn't going to say anything. But nor the reason you have it this far forward with four Marines in it is so that they won't run up and check if you have a command center. At one point in time, a few years ago, when two-factory was still somewhat common, uh, this was a big giveaway that it was two factory now two factory is so not common at this point that snow may not think too much about this but basically this is a much worse placement than back here so if it's back here first off it's closer for your scvs to repair but also you get better surface area from dragoons up here 
right? So it's so far out, it's actually easier to kill. But again, it blocks that scouting. So this is gonna be a very old school three siege tank rush uh, off of two factories. And that's, yeah, he's gonna be going up against three Gakun, which is actually exactly what you want to be going for. I thought it might be a, a reaver opener, but it is not. We're gonna have five Marines, three siege tanks and vulture rally, speed and mines almost done. He brings an SCV. I like I like two. I'm a little bit surprised he didn't bring a second one. I mean, you're pretty much all in with this anyways. You're on 19 SCVs. You may as well pull one more gas SCV and send it because you're only making vultures from here. Uh, anyways, this push really comes down heavily to micro and to decision making. So let's see how he ends up going about this. This is only four siege tanks. This, I mean, uh, four, four dragoons. This crushes this. Crushes. But... With three gates out and the observer, like you might be able to micro your way through this, right? He can one shot Marines with the four goons. The four goons can two shot a tank as well. See, he gets one big volley down, one big volley on tank. That tank halfway dead. And he actually runs up with two of the goons that are high health and starts picking off Marines a little bit. Notice the SCV is already dead. Uh, and he's got a lot of goons here. Once this wall starts to evaporate, the goons may... Look at that micro from Stone. The goons may be able to push out and actually uh, actually end up blocking this. But he does have those vultures to come up and add their damage. That was a sick pullback right there. I cannot believe he saved that tank. Very, very, very well done. And the targeting on these Dragoons as well. He's utilizing the vultures not just to body block, but also to add that little bit extra damage. Now, he sieges... <gasps> Big mine hits right there. And as long as he saves this tank, ooh, just barely 11 health left on that. He's going to have to lay mines in the front so this tank doesn't take another hit. Snow wants that hit desperately, though. He still has his Nexus. The Vultures have taken a ton of damage. What do we have back at home here? Heroes are going to go for a command center. Okay, okay. So, uh, I, I here's... Like, I, I feel like he needed to rally a, maybe a little bit more here. Like, uh, maybe switch into one tank and one vulture at some point. Uh, because it looks like Snow's just going to end up holding this. Now, we'll we'll try to figure out exactly where we're at. But honestly, after a two-factory play like this... Oh, I can't believe that. That mine didn't hit. That's so crazy. Okay. Let's take a look where we're at. Okay? So... We actually have a four probe lead for snow after that. He has Reaver Tech three gates. Over here, we have the command center started. He does have a bunker that he's gonna put one Marine into. Third factory got started, no engineering bay. This, this is a big advantage for snow, honestly, even after that two fact. It was hidden perfectly. It got up to the choke without being detected. Or, you know, at least Snow didn't move out to meet it all. Normally, you would move out and try to pick off a couple Marines on the way or whatever. But this, it, like, it looks to me very good for, like, it's very good for Snow. Now, the thing is, Speed may have a follow-up. He may say, okay, well, three fact versus three gate. Let's let's go. I'm going to attack again pretty soon. You know, make, make five tanks and just rally Vulture. That's a good move. Like, uh, he hasn't done really enough damage. And, you know, he did trade a lot of units out there. And when you get uh, Siege Mode, Mines, and Vulture Speed, and you go down to low amounts of units, the Terran units start to dominate because you can just kind of out-micro uh, the Protoss player very oftentimes. So at very small unit sets, Terran armies are really, really good after those upgrades. Uh, so let's see what he can get done here. He pushes forward, and the, the thing is, this Reaver Micro from Snow is generally so good that he's able to break anything. Look at this, drops out that Zealot to tank some hits, gets a big shot off onto this Siege Tank, does end up blowing it up. Uh, he does lose uh, one Zealot during that as well. Three goons versus three tanks, generally not gonna be good, but two of those tanks are very low indeed. This Vulture running behind, he's trying to lay some mines so that the goons can't get back. Ooh, good explosion right there. Uh, the Reaver will come out to try to block this as well. He needs to walk away from the mine, can't be taking any more of those hits. 
and Snow once again looks like he should be able to hold this. A siege up to try to get a little bit of extra damage from this siege tank. And in fact, running by with vultures. I mean, the unit count is so low. You can see how the vultures just run by the goons. Like goons will beat them straight up, but you're not going to fight them straight up here. And in fact, look at this beautiful micro. Oh my God, he almost gets that reaver. But the reaver does get picked up in time just craziness right now the reaver is super low so he can't drop it with anything ready to fire and gets that reaver the dragoon came up and did get the sea shank but we have tons of damage being dealt and now absolutely speed has taken the advantage here killing a ton of probes at this point one thing to mention is snow did start a third command center i'm sure you can see it on the mini map just above the natural so if snow can maybe stabilize this right now maybe there is some comeback potential since he has the three nexuses but honestly looking back here it's like okay we have well a missile turret SCV count is okay. He's going up to five factories. So this is still going to be a very aggressive game from speed. He has very little defense at home. Honestly, looking at like the economy and the defense, I'm checking if there's a turret under there. There's not. So he's got like one missile turret. He's starting to make some more. Wow, he actually gets a, a siege tank hit on that, that Reaver. That's pretty good. Uh, and we'll drop this down to try to get some sort of kill honestly killing any scvs here is strong he knows that speed is going to be very low on scvs and in fact he is if you're going five factor on two base you want to have 40 scvs at least uh and he just does not have that he has 30 right now so very low economy very hard to build turrets as well as your attack units looking back at snow's base right he's still just on three gate he still just has the reaver tech now he does have speed shuttles obviously as you can see he's making more reavers definitely wants to uh continue to micro those and eke out advantages against speed speed is well honestly like i like a lot of things about the way that the speed played this right he tried to do a very aggressive two fact I, like the expansion into three fact is a really interesting follow-up as well right where it's like okay well snow is ahead right now but because the unit counts are low let's let's continue let's continue the attack and three fact attacks are pretty strong but now he's gone into the five and i don't know that he has enough look at this snow just kind of walking through a lot of it but five tanks remain that's a very weird choice with those zealots i think that like the fact that he turned the zealots around instead of have them walk towards those tanks and force the tanks back a little bit surprised there let's take a look the shuttle is grabbing a second reaver more reavers being produced consistently here snow is up by five workers now he's producing pretty consistently off of these three nexuses trying to catch up economically once again those zealots coming out they're going to tank shots from those siege tanks the reaver getting another tank there as well and what do you do as speed here we see he's not really producing many scvs he pops a couple out here and there and it's mostly vulture production but as the dragoon count gets up as we have pylon walls as we have the reavers sitting around trying to catch them the vultures are getting weaker right this is the problem like i was saying before and very small unit amounts like vultures and siege tanks with those upgrades just dominate but then you get a little bit higher and it's not that much higher but a little bit higher here and you can see that it's like oh god the vultures can't really get by any of this they can't really kill any of these units as long as the units are microed a little bit and of course with these reavers they're going to start containing look at that 14 kills on a reaver that's snow for you uh you know i guess i guess we just kind of wait and see what speed's next course of action will end up being because he's not getting through here this is not fully defended perfectly maybe maybe there's a way to harass that base he has made a good amount of siege shanks we still don't have an armor he's going into academy i think the academy might be a nod towards the fact that like if a dt comes out the game ends uh, but it also could be just to spot where units are one or two times, right? Like sometimes that'll help you to move in the right direction to, to make that move that's going to catch you up. But right now, Snow continues to pick off and whittle down those siege tanks. We have some very nice micro going on. Like he's picked off a couple of zealots you could hear there, laying some mines, trying to set some traps. But Snow generally is doing a good job of kind of cleaning the map up a little bit right we see the dragoons moving this direction dragoons moving in this direction he's just kind of clearing out mines making sure the vultures are zoned away from his mining bases this forward siege position for speed 
Ugh, it's not it's not very powerful you can really see that difference 22 worker disadvantage like all snow needs to do now is just create units because it, this this has to be the last attack this has to be it there's just you're if you lose this army that's it you're just gonna be completely out macro there's not gonna be anything left oh god loses three vultures right at the beginning there nothing lost here for snow so far Microing back one of those reavers extremely red at this point that's a 19 kill reaver by the way <laughs> does get another kill there more dragoons coming up he's trying to pick off these siege tanks some good micro from speed overall the reavers will drop out on the other side and get some huge scarab hits and honestly again i think that there were some good ideas here from speed but you know it was basically a cheese and it just didn't end up working snow ends up holding some great micro some great decision making and there's nothing left for speed at this point you can see his supply is about to be doubled he has no upgrades he just started an armory honestly there's like zero percent <laughs> like you could put uh, a b protoss in in snow's position and he would actually win the game against speed here it's like you just you can't there's nothing. There's nothing. The SCV count is terrible. The upgrades are terrible. He's almost out of minerals. It's very hard to take a third base in this position. Uh, yeah, this game, this game is super duper over. And I mean, as, as Speed's looking at this, I'm sure he knows. He's kind of like going through the motions right now, probably thinking about the game a little bit. I feel like that's something that happens in games like this, where you're kind of thinking, you're looking at your unit count. You're like, is there some way... Maybe I can drum out of position, get a good siege angle. If the Reavers don't stop me, can I, you know, can I make like a death trap for the goons to walk through? And like that, I think is what he's thinking about right now. But as you can see, his army is so small and there's no counterplay to these Reavers. The Reavers just dropping out, picking off tanks. It's like, yeah, those vultures run by, but it leaves the tanks back at home can't get in the wall is still there he's laying some offensive mines so it's like a good idea but you can just sacrifice a unit or two and that's going to be held as well more dragoons coming up uh to hold on against those vultures and yeah that's gonna be it gg snow takes the first game here uh against speed thanks for watching